One of the things we do with, with our speed program, I think that's different than others, is we don't just aimlessly run you through drills. We take the time to teach, we take the time to make sure the flaws and, and the fundamental athlete, uh, fundamentals of each athlete are corrected first, develop the rhythmical patterns, and then, and then bust it up to what we call ballistic training, and make sure they understand how to train. I want them to, to, to come away from this to be able to train on their own, because all elite level athletes train on their own. They'll always need coaches, but I want them to have an understanding of the speed and the principles in their own body and how it operates. One of the reasons I want to do this camp is I know all these guys, I know they teach. And uh, the hardest thing about doing a speed training camp is people don't understand that people just run you through drills and do distance stuff, and we don't. We do an awful lot of teach. You, know, now you did the hard part, now you just got to catch the ball. That's what we do. The first line, you guys are going to do this, we're going fast hands, quick feet. Okay, okay, hands slow, working, slow down, working, slow down. Get those hands going. Don't, don't let those hands go. Good. Good. I'm coming at you, Mark. I'm not going to be a nice guy. I'm not your friend right now. Ready? Hit me! There you go! There you go! You're going to open up to the two receiver side, okay? You, you're going to be at five yards. You're going to jam the receiver inside. Ryan Clady and Taylor Tharp and Gerard Rabb, Tanyan Bissell, Mike T. Williams, I, it wasn't much of a decision. You get so much faster, I mean, after two days, if they change your, the mechanics and your form, you feel so much faster. And I mean, when I saw the pamphlet and I saw I could get coached by the best left tackle in the nation, I just, it was, it's, you gotta come. They have the personnel.